Hi, I'm Professor Alison McMillan from the Department of Health and Aged Care, speaking to you from Ngunnawal country. Today, I'd like to chat to you about the importance of masks and COVID-19. I know we're all a bit tired of hearing about it, but masks are still an important way we can protect those that are most vulnerable from contracting COVID-19. Masks offer protection to yourself and to others when other protective measures like physical distancing are difficult to maintain. Face masks are designed to contain the particles that are breathed, coughed or sneezed out. This means that they can provide some protection from the virus that causes COVID-19. Now everyone has their own reasons for to wear a mask and we need to respect people's choices for wearing one or not. You may wear a mask to help slow the spread of COVID-19 in vulnerable communities such as hospitals, aged care homes and those living with a disability. This will also protect those that are 65 years and older or family and friends that are immunocompromised. Some people can't wear masks for their own health reasons. Others may choose to wear one to protect themselves, their loved ones or people they're caring for from COVID-19. But whatever the reason, it's important that we all respect each other's choices and help people most at risk from getting very sick from COVID-19. It's also very important to wear a mask when asked to by a health professional. So you might like to wear a mask in a crowded area like supermarkets, buses or trains, when visiting people in aged or disability care homes, hospitals, possibly at work or school, or anywhere where wearing a mask may make you feel safer. The only time you absolutely need to wear a mask is when you're asked to by a health professional. I know that masks are stuffy and sometimes even uncomfortable, but our health professionals are well trained and have everyone's safety in mind. So please be respectful of them and put on a mask when they ask you to. If you're going into a high risk settings like a hospital, aged care or disability care setting, make sure you have a clean mask handy just in case. And remember, do not reuse masks and always dispose of them in a bin after use. Single use surgical masks can be worn for up to four hours of continuous use. Try not to touch the mask once you have it on and always hygiene your hands before and after handling your mask. You can also help protect the vulnerable friends and family by testing and staying home if you're unwell. And of course, by topping up your COVID-19 protection with a new booster if you're due. If you'd like to read more on how masks are protecting yourself and others from COVID-19, you can always find the most up-to-date information at health.gov.au. Thank you.